Hey everybody, happy Friday. Welcome back. Welcome to my office. Um, glad to be back here, my weekly Friday Night Live. Um, let me see if there's a little too much of an echo. Hold on a second. All right, let's try that. Um, all right, so I've been thinking about what to talk about and believe it or not, I kind of leave these things to the last minute because there's always something going on in my mind and I figure something going on in there is worth me just pulling out and uh, talking about live. And so uh, what I'm thinking about currently is, first of all, about how cool it is, how connected we all are. And um, I'm, I've been experiencing through doing these live videos, which of course later I'm posting on YouTube. I shouldn't say of course. By the way, I've created a YouTube channel. Patting myself on the back, proud of myself there. I am actually putting myself out there on the internet, uh, personally. So that's a little bit odd for me, um, but it feels fine, it feels all right. And uh, it's, I've had to kind of take a deep breath about that and draw, drum up some courage and uh, create a YouTube channel. So you can visit me there. Hey, Bernadette. I know, right? I forgot to tell you about that. I'm on YouTube too. <laughs> oh, and then, sorry, there's somebody out there. I apologize. I haven't replied back because I just saw last night that someone, hey, Azita, someone speaking French to me and I thought it was on YouTube. So I go there and there's nobody there. So apparently I've created a, a Gmail, a Google Plus you know, it took me so long to be able to use Facebook and, and feel okay about that. So forgive me, but I, I, I'm, not, I'm not inching towards Google Plus just yet. So if you've commented for me there, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not hip enough to be able to reply back to you. But anyway, that's fun. So um, you can go onto YouTube, just search my name, Dr. Daria Gafferpour, and um, that would be cool if you could give me a thumbs up there too, uh, as well as here. And uh, again, if you haven't liked my page already, it's, uh, it, it does help more people view what I have to say and I'm having fun putting my messages out there. So, um, yes. <laughs> um, right, so what's been going on in my head is just considering how cool it is that literally, you know, you log on to either your mobile device or your computer and you're watching me and maybe you're watching me live or maybe you're watching a replay a little bit later but you could be anywhere in the world and that's part of what's mind-boggling for me um, and I know that for some people this is old school and you've been doing this forever but there's something that's really really neat about connecting with someone who's in Europe right now you know or in Australia or in Canada and these borders just don't matter you know um, so I've been developing friendships around the world and uh, that's really exciting. So I love how um, we are connected this way through uh, the different media that we use. Currently it's with Facebook Live and uh, it, that's on a broad scale. Then it also made me think about on a real micro scale how connected we are. And maybe you know what I'm talking about when you are... Um, Okay, so in my line of work, I'm a dentist, right? So I'm working really closely with people in close physical proximity. And uh, maybe your line of work is the same way, or let's say you're a student and you know, you're know you really close physically with a lot of people, and maybe you're in a classroom setting, let's say. Um, so energetically, we're all connected. So you could think of that on in a scientific way on an atomic level, you know, we're all we're all together, we're all connected. Um, you could look at it in terms of life cycles. You could look at what happens with water, what, you know, the molecular structure of water. Water is physical and then it evaporates and later becomes rain, you know. Hey, Lisa. And, um, and then it perpetuates, right? So from, a, and, and we're all made of water too, right? So uh, you could think, so that's one way that you could look in a scientific level about how we're all connected. Well, in a similar way, when we're physically close with each other, you know what's going on. You can sense it. You know how you can sense uh, if someone's walked into the room or walked into the office, let's say, walked into the building and your ears perk up a little bit? Like you think that somebody is there and then you go out and you find out, yes, someone is here. Um, it's because you're kind of in tune with your environment, you know? Um, 
unless you've got headphones on and you're tuning everyone out, well, very possibly and very likely, you are uh, somewhat aware of your surroundings. And part of what that means and part of what that, the way that that's relevant, for me anyway, in my world, is that people can kind of tell what's going on with you too. I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about, but when you're in really close proximity with one another and you're really, um, you're, you're being present, <laughs> um, there's that word again, being present, or that phrase, um, you can sometimes tell, you can intuitively tell what's going on with somebody. Um, if they're feeling good, if they're not feeling good, you feel it, it affects how you feel. And the reverse is true also, if you come smiling into a room, you're likely to pick somebody up because whether they were feeling that way or not, you've affected them. And so on a deeper level, I have found that it's not just an, an outward appearance or your outward emotions, your outward display of emotions, but whatever is happening on the inside, internally, you might want to think twice about what kind of um, tape recording you're playing in your mind because your body will reflect what it is that you're thinking of. You might be feeling frustrated or upset or worried or stressed and you're trying to put on a mask as if that's not the case, but just be aware of what environment you're in and how close you are with other people because they may feel that too. And so uh, one tip that I can offer, um, and I hope I'm not speaking too broadly here, but I really find that over my years of practicing dentistry, which has been a lot of years, um, <laughs> I've learned to kind of to be careful about what I'm thinking. So let's say I'm working on a patient and my mind wanders a bit. I, I believe that my patient can tell if I'm, not, if I'm not real present, if I'm not really there. And so if I watch my, wan my mind wander, zip, I'll zip back in and get focused on what it is that I'm doing. And if, um, if someone is doing something that's annoying you and you might be thinking internally or you know, you're grumbling or it's just, you're not happy about something, you'd be surprised, they probably can tell that you're, you're a bit upset about something or that you're not really appreciating what's going on. So if you're letting your mind take over, like that little voice inside take over and start really leading you astray, um, having bad self-talk, you know, talking down to yourself or starting to doubt yourself, you know, your self-confidence might start to wane a little bit. Um, do something to pick yourself up or speak to yourself, as I've mentioned before, the way you might speak to somebody else if you want to cheer them up. Because what will happen is you'll convince yourself that things are really okay, and that person that you're very close with will notice that too, and they'll feel that too. Um, it's just from my experience, that's, that's what goes on. I, I've just found time and time again, when I've been thinking something, later that person that I've been interacting with might say something that I just go, whoa, that's really weird, I was just thinking that. <laughs> And so uh, that's what happens when you're being very present with people and when they're being present with you too. So um, in a real world example, how that might uh, translate is if something happens and it doesn't feel like it's going exactly the way I want to, and it could be a real stupid thing, or like I try to pick something up with my little tweezers, let's say, and it slips out and it's like, don't, that's annoying. You know, now I have to go back and look for something else and try and pick that up just right again. Stupid, right? In inconsequential, just a, a very small, minimal kind of thing. But if I get into that, I, I, if I were to let that take me on a roll of how things are going wrong and things are just slipping through my fingers and I don't have control over everything, wow, things can just tailspin and go downhill and that could make me grumpy and the person that I'm with might sense that and then I've just spoiled what otherwise was just a fine situation. And so I encourage you, if something like that happens, find a way of just sort of laughing it off, talking to yourself, just reminding yourself that everything is okay because it really is okay, everything really really is okay. We sometimes lose sight of that. And so when we can remind ourselves that everything's okay and actually I'm kind of enjoying myself, I'm having fun right now. Believe it or not, I'm having fun 
right now. And just a few minutes ago, I had no idea what I was going to talk about. <laughs> so here I am. Maybe I'm rambling. Maybe I'm speaking of something of substance to you. I hope so. It makes sense in my mind. I hope it can make sense in your mind. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so yeah, these are the inner workings of my mind. And these, this is how I've trained myself to kind of be careful about how it is that my mind works and what it is that I'm thinking about when I care about what the other person is thinking and feeling too. So when I want to optimize an experience, when I want to give someone the best experience that I can, then I want to be real careful about what I'm thinking about inside. And if I were to have any kind of thought of just a grr thought, you know, <laughs> just picture a little cartoon, grumpy face, you know, I want to self-correct that because I don't want that person that I'm with to interpret that in a way that I don't mean. Bernadette, yes, so true. Our minds are the first start to us becoming our own worst enemy, right? And our own best friends too, because we can switch that. And so that's part of what I like, the message that I like to put out there is that we can switch how we think just in, just like that. We can alter and we can, we can create a different perspective that can make things go so right. You know, you might think that something's not going well. And if you just, if you can just as easily think that something's not going right, then why don't you just as easily think that something is going right and watch what happens around you. You know, you can kind of act as if. When you're acting as if everything is going well, you'll be surprised about how others will start responding as though things are going well because they are. You've just created that reality and they bought into it. And so for them, that's their reality too. And I hope that's your reality too. Um, thanks for commenting, Bernadette. Thanks for joining me. And uh, you know, if you're watching after the fact, participate. Let me know what your thoughts are. Don't do it on Google Plus, please. Not just yet. I'm not there yet. Let me deal with Facebook first. This is a big enough deal for me. <laughs> and uh, and maybe on on YouTube. Although what I'm not positive, see, I'm not sure if I'm if I leave a comment on YouTube. Does that go to Google Plus? Mm -mm -mm. One of these, thank you. <laughs> Hearts go out to me too while I lament and try and figure this thing out. But in any case, for now, I'm just deciding that this is good enough. And um, thanks for joining me and hope you have a super evening and a wonderful weekend. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye.